how to allocate your innovation energy. In every organization, there is a tendency among the people who are creative and invent the next product feature or service, there's a tendency for them to invest their innovation energy according to their own intuitions and needs. If you're not explicit about where the innovation energy in your organization should be directed, you may find that your engineers or your designers or your creative people are working on features that aren't going to grow or advance your venture. So this is how I make it explicit. The very first thing that we're going to do is direct our innovation energy to solve customer problems. It's the customers that pay for the solutions to the problems. And so solving customer problems is the way to grow the top line, way to grow the market share, way to create value for customers, and way to create value for your company. Because the solutions that your organization creates and the value that they send to the customers is shared by the customers back into your organization. And those resources help keep your organization going. So the number one most important place to send your innovation energy is in solving customer problems. The difficulty with that is it requires you to empathize with the customer. It requires your creative people, whether they are programmers or product designers or engineers, to take the perspective of the customer and understand their problem. And often, the source of innovation in your organization is not in direct contact with the customer. The salespeople might be, the service people might be, but your engineers and your designers and your programmers might not understand the customer problems because they don't hear from the customers. To allocate your innovation energy towards solving customer problems, you have to keep your innovation team in direct contact with the customers. The second place to send your innovation energy is to solve production problems. And this is a little bit easier for your organization if you can put your creative people, including your production people, empower their creativity, in touch with your cost of production. And it doesn't matter whether you're in the service business, uh, producing meals, producing experiences, producing code, or producing tangible products. If you can solve production problems that lower your costs, you will get paid. So solving customer problems increases your revenue. Solving production problems reduces your costs. Both of these will expand your margins and create more resources for your venture. The second place then that we allocate our innovation energy is into solving production problems that will reduce the costs of delivering the solutions we've already designed for customers. So what's the third? The third place to allocate your innovation energy is pride of workmanship. And this is the easiest one of all to, for your innovators to be in touch with. If they aren't in touch with your customer and they don't have good information on your costs, then your team will allocate to pride of workmanship. And you may find feature creep. You may find that people are adding buttons to your interface they're adding features to your software that none of your customers want. You may find that they're improving the fit or the finish of something that no one will ever see. You may find that your engineers, your production team, your programmers, your designers are working on things that improve their own self-satisfaction without considering who's going to pay for it and without considering what it costs to produce. Because in a lot of organizations, pride of workmanship 
is all the innovative people have access to. And sometimes you must allow them to improve their self-satisfaction, to work solely for the pride of workmanship. Ideally, they would be working on a solution for a customer that the customer is willing to pay for. They would be working on something that is cheaper to produce and taking pride of workmanship. But there are occasions, and I hope that in your organization they're rare, when pride of workmanship is the primary motivation for your innovation. It improves your morale, it helps people bond with your mission and your venture. Keep in mind that it will not grow your margins.